from kindergarten, kindergarten to, to grade, grade three. Grade two. Grade, grade three. two. Grade, grade two, we just did French. Then grade three to grade six, we do English and French. I remember what the word was. It was transfer, transfer. And transfer, it's spelled exactly the same way, and it's practically... It means the exact same thing, so... Est-ce que tu peux penser à quelque chose qui a été fait dans la classe de français qui a un lien avec la classe d'anglais ou l'inverse? À quoi ça sert le transfert? C'est comme connexion. Tu lis un livre mm -hmm. et, um, et tu as une connexion avec un autre livre. Avec un autre livre. Est-ce qu'on a fait ça en classe de français? Oui. For example, in both classes, at one point, we were learning about um, the World. Second World War. Yeah, right, right. And like the Holocaust. So like we we were reading books and there were some things that like weren't really clear and I was like I couldn't understand it and I was like asking people like do you know what this means and they're like I don't really know either and, and then like we started learning about it in English and we started reading um this book Gabby Dresser Gabby yeah, Dresser Gabby's yeah. Dresser Thank you and um uh like sometimes the book in English clarifies the words and like the meaning of like the the main idea of the story more. Yeah. This is a really he heavy chapter. I'm just so surprised that it, it has a lot of what, what's the word I'm looking for? It has a lot of detail. Um, J'entendis um, Gabi et sa frère parler. Parler. Du gars. Oui. Um, J'ai entendu. J'ai entendu. C'est J ou J? Um, we've been learning about uh, inferring. And well, we've been learning that in English and in French, so we kind of have an understanding more of it. Like one teacher would say something about it, and then the other teacher would just like add on. So sometimes my uh, English teacher would say, "So as you guys did in French class, um, well, it gives you a good understanding because instead of saying you could do this and explaining what words, since you've already done it in French class, there's not really any difference. You already know how to do it." So let's say Miss Gartis does that, and we already know, because we've done it with Madame Audrain, we already know a little bit about it. So she won't have to start from the basics. We already know stuff about it. It's like we say something, and it's like, oh, hey, I remember that. We did that in French class. I know it a bit better than most people, or we all do. A lot of the words on the list, too, are like similar in French and English. And I don't know why, but the first word that came to my head was like a comprehension. Like comprehension. And it's like the same in English, spelled in, in French. I find like when we started off in English, it was a lot easier to go to French and then have all these strategies. Because I don't think we knew the strategies before going to French, but we did do a lot of like in the book we did do a lot of we had a lot of reading strategies and it made it easier to build on top and kind of bring them together. En français, um, quand je sais pas un mot et j'ai pas un dictionnaire, je peux dire comme uh, je veux utiliser le mot important. Je sais c'est quoi la mot, mais je sais en anglais et je peux connecter en français aussi. C'est comme when we down to kind of use the reading notebook, it was really easy to uh, understand what it was for because you already did it with Miss Rogers. So it was simple to understand what you had to write in it, uh, where you had to write it, and the strategies that she wrote. It was really easy to copy it down because you're, you're familiar with it in, the grade, in grade five. Yasmin a traduit, elle a, elle a réécrit la, la, la crostiche, puis elle a traduit chaque lettre en français. I think teachers should plan together so that, um, let's say you're learning about this specific book or a time period of a book, then one teacher can like briefly explain it and then in another class uh, another teacher will like go more into it and you'll like, you'll already have an idea of what's going on but then you'll like go more into it and get a better understanding of it. Because it saves a lot of time explaining. And uh, for example, imagine we did the timeline in French 
In English, she didn't really have to explain what timeline was. She just had to say, remember the timeline you did in French? Well, we're doing the same thing here, so we don't have to go through all the time explaining. If it was exactly the same, then we'd already know everything and it wouldn't like be as interesting to learn it. But if we did like um, like some similarities, but some of them are different, then it'd be more appealing and it'd be more, uh, it'd be a better way to learn more. If Madame Audrey already done it in her class and we go to Miss um, Gotts' class and we were learning it, but we've already done it, it's we're a step ahead. So. It's better if they talk because they'll save time and they'll, and really you can you could be planning ahead for something else and that's why they should talk so that they're ready for something else if something pops up. Transfer is all around us. We do it many times and we don't even know that we do it. And it really helps all of us, not only kids, adults in every single day situations. And I don't know what we would do without transfer. It's very, it helps us move, like, it motivates us, like, oh, I know that, I can do that.